what's up my toxic kings and queens welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today we got to talk about the baddie self union y'all like i gotta get into it i gotta let y'all know how i feel about it and i'm just gonna speak on it and i don't care who likes it but i'm pretty sure a lot is gonna agree so they start off as usual by talking smack and the bag getting the makeup and the hair done or whatever the case may be and basically roly is talking her stuff and slim right there just listening freaking natalie nunn is like oh people disrespect me i could fire you i did this for 15 years stop disrespecting me i'm up top and all of this stuff y'all already know how she do she always always make herself like the innocent victim then she goes on to keep talking like she's gonna pop off and oh people was in their confession was acting against a girl you was one of them trying to act gangster too you was fake as f like stop with the shenanigans like you're fake you're the fakest you've been fake since bad girls club girl like who do you think you are you're like 50 years old still trying to be a bad girl Roly poly is like listen i'm not with the fake stuff y'all know how Roly do she's been saying this the whole show she like i'm about to air some stuff out and i don't care if anybody don't like it it is what it is i'm for whatever like it's up like you know how Rolly do. She don't care. But Scotty is like, she never has a storyline. She always trying to finish. She always playing victim. She didn't even know what side to go on. She went on the side and then she started acting all weird and stuff when she around Natalie. Natalie and Scotty like, oh, I think they're mad because they've been seeing you and me a lot lately. Girl, they talking about I've been free, been friends. Y'all have not been hanging out that long. We have not even seen Scotty like that. Like, stop it. We seen Scotty since you've been on the show. Stop with the fake friend stuff. Then you got Krishan Rock talking to Jayla. You know, Krishan Rock always talking about her pity stuff and her oh her sad situations and her trust and her mental health and all this shenanigans like it's always about Krishan and her mental like she really don't care about that but anyway let's talk about Bree's yellow makeup why is it not matching her skin why do people wear makeup that never matches their skin then she and scared the heck out of me like I do not know <laughs> I do not know what Anne was thinking with this. Like, she looked like a bear rat. I don't know. But they, her and Scotty started getting into it. And it's like, all right, so what you want to do? Scotty, like, I just felt some type of way about it. And it's like, all right. And I said what I said, so what you want to do? So she basically was, like, fake pressing Scotty. But then, you know, Natalie Nunn, she just fired up talking about Roly and Slim like always like why is she so why are you so pressed about them like talking about she gonna fire them they not on the next season so basically Roly and Slim is arguing with Natalie Nunn of course because Natalie Nunn is being extra she's starting stuff and she just doing the most Sydney Star pops up again at the reunion saying Natalie said I could come I had a four-hour flight da, 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 da. I'm not turning back away she's calling for Natalie and then she calls out Natalie saying she's fake because Natalie comes out and a whole bunch of mess all right so Natalie like you keep popping up you keep popping up and then you know they was about to fight and then Trina was on stage you know everybody's introducing themselves and here go rock being a childish person that she is doing extra and um, i came with my sneakers and stuff and everybody followed me girl you ain't the only one that started sneakers at the reunions anyway scotty and everybody was getting into it scotty got up like she was about to do something to Rolly and slim because natalie i mean Rolly was fighting natalie and then you got persuasion complaining took him out this show was months ago it's over like why y'all girl you knew they had beef everybody had beef and was talking stuff online and that's the whole point of the reunion is to say what you gotta say so basically Rolly popped the f out of scotty right in her face but scotty is online claiming that Roly just mushed her girl i heard it and i seen it and scotty was so mad saying she hit me in my face but then look at natalie's eye y'all look at her eye okay she got popped in that it's watering it's red it looks swollen already like that lash is hanging for dear life let's talk about how scared trina looked it when the fights was going on you would have never thought she was on love and hip-hop then you got Blueface right with Krishan Rock. I understand that's her man, but can she do anything by herself without him up without him up her butt? Like, does she really have him dragging along or is he willingly doing this? Like, that's weird. But anyway, that's my thought on the reunion. Um, it is part one. Part two should be coming up hopefully next Sunday. But they was more talking. I hate reunions that do that. They do a whole bunch of talking. Like the whole half of the reunion is talking and then all the good stuff is like 
10 minutes at the end. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments below. Always, always, always make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. Click that notification bell. Because y'all already know when I drop, I got y'all. Toodaloo.